channel in this video I will show you a new node which is called close packing node and I have added this node to the animation nodes and extra nodes this node allow to pack spheres using points or on mesh surface and this point can be in 3d space so in many different ways you can use this node to pack spheres or scatter objects without overlapping them here are many examples in which people have used this circle packing or close packing technique to create a very nice looking artwork so this node has main three methods is sphere packing using points sphere packing using relaxation method and sphere packing using polygons and this points method has further three methods so in this in this example i will show you a sphere packing using polygon method which is very very simple just you have to input a triangulated mesh so here i have a triangulated torus so i triangulated with this decimate modifier and we plug this mesh to the mesh input and now we have matrices we can use these matrices to replicate splines or scatter objects or anything so here i have replicate the splines and all these circles have correct radius and we can align these circles to the polygon normals see we have with few steps we pack circles on the mesh surface and this is very very dynamic means we can also animate the, this base mesh and this node will take care of the radius of the circles so that it so that they won't overlap with each other so this is the sphere packing using polygon method okay this is the sphere packing using points method and also sphere packing using a relaxation these two methods are the iterative methods they use iterations to achieve the this non overlapping criteria so here is points method with dynamic radius option this option is basically sequentially increase the radius of the point until it re touches the other point or it reaches this maximum radius limit margin is the minimum margin you want to maintain between the points radii and this radius step is the increment of the radius at each iteration for smaller radius set this value this radius step to a small value and if you have very large radius means one or two or higher then you also increase the radius step it will increase the performance of this node and then we have this fall option fall off option to control the radius of the points and then is mask option mask option basically some of the points are left with the zero radius so you if you want to mask out them then just click this option and it will mask out the points from the final matrices list and here is object controller follow of node and we can control the radius of the points and next is the neighbor radius method so neighbor radius option increase the radius of all the points per iterations not sequentially but 
all the points so when the radius of the one point touches the radius of the other point or if it reach the maximum radius limit then it will stop and it has same controls margin maximum radius radius step and follow and then we have mask option and this last is the fixed radius option of the points method and this this option is very very useful suppose you have random points or random points on a mesh where you want to scatter some object so that they don't overlap for example you want to scatter tree with a certain radius on a train then you can use this method to satisfy is to select the point which satisfy the this radius criteria and you can control the follow uh, radius with follow and here you can also randomize the radius this follow option and mask out the points with zero radius and this option is very very useful for the scattering of objects on different point so next and the last one is sphere packing using a relaxation method okay and this method is somewhat similar to the previous method but it's slightly complex so this method takes the points and also the predefined radius of the points then it iteratively fit the points together without overlapping their radius so if they are overlapping then it will pull each other so that they fit together and satisfy the non overlapping criteria so we have margin maximum radius fall off and mass as previous input but we have new one is the repulsion force factor so it is the force at per iterations so if you set to, to a small value then it will take large iterations to achieve the this non overlapping condition and there are three inputs is the error max iteration max and neighbor amount error max is when this th during iterations when it achieve this 2% error then it will stop the iterations or suppose it doesn't achieve the 2% error, error then it will do maximum 100 iterations generally you only have to change the number of iterations if you have a large number of points or the points with very large radius but if you have a point with the random radius then you may need to adjust this repulsion factor error or the neighbor amount i'll demonstrate this okay now we have 50 points see they are some of are overlapping with each other first increase the repulsion factor it will fix the problem but suppose still there is some overlapping then decrease the error it doesn't improve the condition uh, this overlapping problem then increase the this neighbor amount so only use this neighbor amount option when you have points with the different radius otherwise uh, neighbor amount one works for the points with the have same radius so in future I will try to improve this method further and minimize the input parameter 
now i will show you uh, my project file in which i use this method so here we have our points from the spline and then we have sphere peg using relaxation method then i use these matrices to replicate these cylinders cylinders and i project and I use this emoji textures for them very simple and to control the textures i use object object viewport color which control the textures transition of these emojis so this is it for this node if you like the work then please do support me subscribe to my channel for more updates and like this video and share this video stay safe stay healthy bye